hello friends welcome back to my channel i swear i wear this t-shirt in like every single vlog it's just it's one of my favorites it's so comfortable and cozy so i thought i would sit down and kind of chat to you guys a little bit do some explaining before we get into the actual birthday vlog as you can tell by the title of this video this is my birthday vlog yes i've done a birthday vlog past two years and I kind of wanted to make it a tradition of always doing a birthday vlog and this year's got a little derailed so we have the belated birthday vlog <laughs> I'll explain it all but yeah I know that there's like this like current trend going on on YouTube that like people will post like really like introspective birthday videos and if you're looking for that this is this is not gonna be it <laughs> I feel like a lot of people say that like your 20s is when you're trying to like figure yourself out and I definitely feel I'm in that stage of my 20s. I feel like I definitely had that like fun carefree stage when I was in university and just like having a lot of fun and then kind of like just really great timing that I graduated university which I feel like it's when a lot of people kind of going through that like trying to figure out stage of their 20s. Yeah, that happened right during COVID, so I feel like that kind of just like threw a whole entire wrench into my life and plans and I'm still very much in the thick of like just trying to figure out myself. So if you're looking for advice, just know that you're not the only one trying to figure out their life. This year, I feel like I've definitely made a lot of like strives to better myself and I'm like, this is my year and it's definitely happening a lot more i quit my toxic job which i know i haven't really talked about it a lot on here and i'm still not ready to talk about it at length but maybe one day i'll talk a little bit more about it but yeah i did that i started therapy which is a really big thing definitely i think once i've done therapy a little longer i'll talk about it a little bit more on here give you guys my like thoughts and stuff but yeah, that's definitely been a big one. Really exciting news. I do have a new job coming up though, which is really exciting. I'll be starting in May. So yeah, I'm just feeling like I'm making a lot of like big changes and like growth. So I was really excited to have a really good birthday. I haven't had the best couple of birthdays. And I'll just start off by saying that I am an Aries. <laughs> if you didn't know that, my birthday is april 4th i'm definitely in a lot of ways the embodiment of the aries of like i like the center of attention <laughs> i love birthdays because like my birthday is like the one day of the year where it's like my day and i don't know i love spending the day and also just like the weekend around it just like celebrating with friends and family so yeah i just like haven't had the best couple of birthdays the past few years. I had great ones in university and then COVID hit like just a couple of weeks before my birthday in 2020. Like I literally had all of the plans already in place and then had to cancel all of them. 2021 was another COVID birthday, which it wasn't too bad, but you know, it's still a COVID birthday. It's not like what I wanted. Last year's was, I mean, you can watch the vlog. I don't think I really talked about it that much, but kind of one of the things that spoiled it was like, the boy I wasn't doing the time like hooked up with someone else and it was a whole entire thing so that kind of tainted my birthday a bit but it's fine like me and the guy are fine we're still friends but yeah I kind of like spoiled it a little bit last year so yeah this year I was like I'm gonna have a good birthday so my plan was is that I wanted to have all my friends over for dinner if you don't know I love food I love cooking and I was like this is great one of the things is that a lot of my friends are very spread all over the place like not a lot of us live in the same city so it's hard to like just like say like oh let's go out in toronto because i don't live in toronto so it's hard for me to host people and i have like friends who are into different things some of them really still like partying some of them don't so i was like you know what dinner party it sounds great everyone can come over we can eat food have some drinks type of thing so then, like all the plans were set in place and then the thursday before so keep in mind my birthday is on the tuesday so i was gonna have the party on the saturday and the thursday before i wake up and my tonsils are super duper swollen and i'm like oh my god 
I have like white patches at the back of my throat. I'm like, this is not good. Like classic. So I just took a pause. But yeah, I was saying I had all of the classic symptoms for strep throat. So anyways, I went to my doctor, got tested for a few things. And they're like, oh yeah, we'll call you by Friday to let you know to get results. Uh, and I was like, okay, like that's fine. Like say if it is like strep or something, I can find out, you know, Friday, get on antibiotics and then hopefully I can still have my friends over because like even though my tonsils were really swollen, otherwise I was like feeling kind of fine. Anyways, Friday comes along, I don't hear anything and one of my like really good friends is a nurse so I'm like talking to her, I'm like what should I do? She's like honestly I think you should just cancel it especially because Easter is the following weekend, you know, we don't want to like risk people getting sick so I was devastated to say the least it just sucks because i had already bought some of the food i had already had all of these plans in place it was literally like the next day and i had to cancel it all that's just where i was at and it kind of just like hit me like saturday and sunday i was literally in bed the whole entire day and yeah so no birthday party for me on monday i ended up going back to the doctor and the doctor was like, I think it's just a viral infection. So nothing that like antibiotics would really help, like just needed to just like wait it out, which I ended up doing. Um, took me about like a week to really feel better. And yeah, I think one of the things I'm just like learning is that like, it's okay to be disappointed when things don't work out, when you're really excited about them. And yeah, my actual birthday itself wasn't bad. I was feeling a lot better so i ended up filming like a mini vlog for tiktok i'll link that down below i decided to do it just on tiktok because i just like wasn't mentally ready to do a whole entire youtube video because i had planned to like vlog the whole entire weekend and my birthday all in one video so yeah mentally i was just like i don't think i can do it for youtube let me just do it for tiktok though I still had a great day, did all my favorite things, and we rescheduled the birthday party for this weekend, which you will be seeing. Yeah, we couldn't, we decided not to do it the following weekend because like I mentioned, it was Easter and it just didn't work as well. Actually, it's kind of good that we rescheduled it. One of my friends can't come, but now two people who couldn't originally come now can. So that was just like the little preamble to all of this of like, why you didn't get the normally scheduled birthday vlog because I was sick. <laughs> Just wanted to do this intro the day before. Tomorrow I will try and take you through the whole entire setup and you know getting ready and the party and stuff. We're doing like an Italian theme because I got a pasta roller for Christmas so I thought it'd be really fun to make like homemade ravioli for everyone. My mom thinks it's too much work but I think it'll be fine <laughs> and like i'm gonna set up my like kitchen table really nice with like lots of decorations and stuff so i'll take you guys along and show you all of that and i think on a sunday my mom and i are gonna go antiquing so i'll include that and then i might include my sephora haul real quick because i think i'm getting it on monday and i'm not sure how much footage i'll actually get tomorrow so this is gonna be kind of just like a huge alga glam like al alga glam oh, that word always trips my, me up a glom glomeration glomeration a glomeration it's gonna be a big like mishmash of a bunch of different things in one video but i hope you enjoy it and how let's get into it I don't really think I got many clips this morning, but I made my ravioli. Yeah, it's just, it's an intensive process. It took a really long time, so I didn't really get a lot of clips. And also, like, once your hands get, like, floury, I don't want to, like, wipe my hands, grab my phone to be able to take a video. But yeah, ravioli is made. Now, I also have the sauce simmering. Just walked the dog. That was my other task I had to do today. Now, I'm going to... Did organize a few advertiser things that I have. Yeah, I need to organize. I just have like olives and stuff for like the appetizers. Because one of my friends is bringing appetizers. So I got organized the appetizers, the dessert area, set the table, put up the decorations, and get dressed and ready. <laughs> a lot to do still. Let's go. Okay, guys, here is a look at 
the finished hair makeup. Let me just put in my little gold hoops. Yeah, my hair, I just like went through. This is like my go-to like quick hair. I just go and like curl any pieces that weren't curled anymore. Then go crazy with the way texturizing hairspray and yeah, that's the hair. Here is the makeup. Here, let me go like this. A little better lighting. Just one very simple, a little wing. I literally wore this makeup in my Sephora wishlist video. I just changed the lip to this like little pinky lip because the table decor, it is, the theme is like pink, gold, and white. So that's what I'm wearing. Yes, I got this top from Winners and these jeans. Here, let me show you the mirror. Okay, here's another look at the outfit. Also, I'm drinking an Alani New right now. I love these. And if you're curious, I did not find these in Canada. I got these when I was in the States, but apparently some specialty grocery stores have them. Anyways, it's time for me to set the table now because people are gonna be here too. Hey, She's Yes, hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello friends, I realized I was a very bad vlogger last night and did not really get many clips whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, I was just trying to be a, a good friend and be in the moment. I hadn't seen my friends. Some of them, it's been a month. A bunch of them, it's been like three months type of thing. And one of my friends I haven't seen in a year. So yeah, I was kind of just focused and trying to be with them the most as I possibly could. I didn't show you any of the food either, which I'm really sad about, but yeah, I made like this whole entire Italian meal. So I had little like tomato and mozzarella for appetizers. And one of my friends bought, brought this like pinwheels, like Italian pinwheels are really good. I made homemade ravioli for dinner and we had build your own salad and like garlic bread and then bunch of my friends brought desserts. I had some like fruit and some like candies and stuff, but one of my friends brought cookies, one made pumpkin pie, and one of my other friends she made birthday cake for me. So yeah, it was just, sorry, my voice is like going a little bit. I was like talking all night yesterday and then talking with my mom today, but yeah, last night was amazing. It was so great. Like it was what I wanted, just the chance to sit down and talk with my friends and just, hang out with each other so yeah it was a great time this morning i woke up and then me and my mom went to an antique fair this was all the way in aurora so it was like an hour away so yeah this is where i've been most of the day but it's so funny because i mentioned oh yeah i'll probably do my sephora haul for you guys and look it already came in the mail amazing Oh, I also want to show you one other thing. So one of my friends, she got me the Rare Beauty lip oil, which is so funny because I mentioned in my Sephora wish list that I was like unsure which shade to get type of thing that I needed to go and swatch it. And my friend got it for me. I haven't even tried it on yet. This is the shade. Honesty, honesty. I should probably look in the mirror to do this on my phone. There we go. Ooh, very pretty. Let me look in the mirror. <laughs> that is so, so nice. It has like a very almost like minty flavor and taste to it. Like I can almost like feel a little bit of like, you know when you have mint and you get it like minty fresh feeling? It's kind of like that, but it doesn't really like taste minty if that makes any sense. But yeah, fair enough. Ah, thank you so much, Maddie. Looks beautiful. Without further ado, let's get into the Sephora order. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because if you guys didn't watch my Sephora wish list video, I kinda explained like everything in that video. My reasons for oh shit. As I was saying, I kinda explained my whole entire reasoning for all the stuff I picked in that video. So yeah, you can go check that up above. Yeah, the reason why I said oh shit is because I realized I got two beauty blenders. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to double check my order, and if that is the case, I need to return one, because I don't need to. We've got my MAC Fix Plus. Apparently they don't sell the coconut scent anymore, but yeah, I just got the regular one. 
So I got my two different eyeliners. This is their, well, this is waterproof. I'm usually not a huge fan of waterproof eyeliners. These are hundred to, anyways, this is Sephora brush tip liquid eyeliner and this is in the shade brown and then we have the sephora collection 24 hour crayon contour eye pencil this is also waterproof this is in the shade cappuccino next up i did end up getting the rare beauty bronzer the shade i wanted of the makeup by mario one was sold out already so i decided to get the rare beauty one Ta -da. that's a nice shade up next, uh, I did get the blush. This is a Makeup by Mario Soft Blush Blush Stick. And this is the shade Pale Petal. See? It's like a really nice pink. I don't know, I don't know how you describe it. I think they just describe it as like a pale pink, but it still is like pretty bright. Yeah, just like a bright pink. I didn't think I ordered this either. Oh, I did. Oh my god because i was reading the french side i shouldn't it always gets me the french side always gets me this is the rare beauty under eye color corrector i got it in the sh light medium oh so, yeah we will try it and see how it goes i decided to get this instead of a concealer because i was thinking of a concealer but then i was thinking well if i like this then i can use it with my other concealers instead of having to buy like a brand new concealer because the thing with my makeup forever one is that it's just sometimes i need a little bit more coverage so i was like this could like work with it and also the price was one of the best next i ended up getting the mac lipstick in yash i will say i did figure out that the charlotte tilbury one isn't limited edition that's just the name of their satin lipstick. But yeah, I decided to go with MAC because it is cheaper. Look at that shade. I'm already wearing a lip and I don't feel like taking it off. Oh, I love the smell of MAC lipsticks. So nice. I can't wait to put this on my lips. I think they just describe it as like a deep neutral. Okay, moving right along. We got it. This is the Way North Bondi Perfume so excited to smell it i'm assuming it's gonna smell exactly like my texturizing hairspray which i actually used yesterday look at that i love this packaging i should have showed you guys the like nice reveal <laughs> here we go just pretend i can't get it back on North Bondi. This beautiful floral fragrance contains notes of bergamot, Italian lemon, rose de mai, violet, and white musk. I got the I got the full size one. Oh, 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 oh! That smells so good. I mean, it smells exactly like their hair products. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to have this. We'll see how good the longevity is. Whoa. Do you guys see that? It's like magnetic. Ready? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited to see the longevity of this perfume. Next, I got the mini of the Sol de Janeiro body cream. I'm not going to apply any because I just put on the perfume, but... Mmm. 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 Smells so good. Ooh, I'm excited to uh, have a shower tomorrow and put that on. And one of my other friends gave me a bunch of the like Lucky Tan stuff, so now I got lots of body butters. Okay, and now to round things off, I'll show you some of my points and free samples and stuff. So first, I got this Biosense Squalene and Omega Repair Cream. I always like getting little skincare minis because these are great for traveling, and I am going to see my friend in Vancouver Thursday. Literally this upcoming week. It's good to get these little eye creams to travel with and I can't remember how much left I had in my moisturizer so good to have another little mini of that. Then I got this Living Proof. This was a 500 point set. This is a five piece set because I can't remember. I need to double check my little travel things but so one of my hacks for traveling is I like using foil packets to bring for a shampoo and conditioner because I find it takes up like such a small amount of room or if I can't do travel packets I like to get 
like little mini samples of shampoo and conditioner so that's what I'm looking for. I'm trying to learn and grow and get better at carry on travel guys because if you don't remember from my last Vancouver trip I had to throw out my shampoo and conditioner and I had to use my friends so we're trying to avoid that. So yes so this includes a little hair and scalp shampoo a little foil packet that it just drops then we've got this is a weightless hair mask treatment a conditioner five in one styling treatment then here is a shampoo great little size i did not order this i hate when they do this when they give you a random other sample because i even remember i think i picked victor's dermatological pre-cleanse oil sample i remember that anyways instead i got the Suwasu overnight vitalizing mask sample and then we got this pharmacy honeymoon glow aha resurfacing night serum sample so those are my samples that is everything i got i got a lot but you know what to be fair it was just my birthday so like <laughs> i used some of the birthday gift money that i got to order a bunch of stuff so yeah, that's it. Um, definitely stay tuned. I'll definitely do a blog post kind of talking about all my thoughts on all of these new products. Yeah, that's it guys. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Not necessarily the best vlog, more talking than vlog, but <laughs> yeah, it's kind of just my life right now. And you guys, more vlog content coming soon. Cause like I mentioned, I'm going to see my friend in Vancouver. So obviously we will have a Vancouver vlog and we're also going to Victoria for a day or two so that'll be fun because I've never been to Victoria so that'll be something new and exciting so yeah definitely new Victoria vlog coming up I'm also going to another girls weekend in the states again so we'll have another U.S. shopping trip haul coming soon and I also do have before these other videos I'm mentioning I will have part two of my makeup declutter coming up it was actually great because i saw um, a bunch of my like girlfriends so i let them go through all of my makeup bags and i think they did a really good job so i think i can like downsize the number of bags that i had so yeah we were joking that like this was like the adult version of like loot bags that they basically were able to just like pick a bunch of makeup out and leave with it and yeah i'm just like rambling at this point please like this video if you want to see more vlogs from me and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any new content that is it for today's video guys and i'll see you in another one super soon